My name is Chris Pye and uh, I work in human services and on the weekends I'm an ultra marathon runner. I approached the Refugee Action Collective um, to talk to them about a, a novel idea of running for 24 hours around a single CBD block in Brisbane to raise awareness of the plight of asylum seekers and refugees. Um, the idea was if we could um, do something a bit out of the box, um, in the middle of the CBD we could connect with men, women and children who aren't already the converted, who are just there in the city um, wondering what the heck's this guy doing running around in circles for 24 hours and hopefully start a conversation. I moved to Australia in 1998, uh, so I'm a, a migrant um, and uh, I guess coming from the outside you see situations a bit more objectively or at least from a different angle and I noticed that there is a feeling for some in Australia of protecting what we've got. That idea that uh, now we're here we're going to close the doors and make sure no one else comes in and get what we've got. Um, that struck me as a, a, as a meanness and, and, a, and a fear which I think is sometimes supported by the government. Um, so I guess over the 15 years, 16 years that I've been here, um, I've been concerned about, about that and wanting to support those who really do need to come in and, and, and be in this country. We're a prosperous nation and I believe that we don't do enough to support those who are desperate and vulnerable in the world. Uh, the run was um, an amazing experience, uh, running for 24 hours uh, almost non-stop um, is a physical, mental, uh, spiritual journey and um, I had the chance to connect with people to tell them about what I was doing and why I was doing it. You never know who you've touched, um, if you've changed any hearts and minds. It's a small drop in, in the ocean of the, the movement on the whole obviously, uh, but if one person questioned their values, um, if one refugee and asylum seeker felt supported um, by what we were doing then I feel really warmed by that. We're a prosperous nation, we can afford to be kinder, to be more compassionate. I really thank you for coming down and being part of I believe that on a daily basis each and every one of us can use our skills, our talents, our abilities to support the vulnerable, the, the marginalised, the at risk in our community and that's what I've tried to do with Nowhere to Run. I believe that whenever we can challenge the, the dominant messages of the government that say that um, asylum seekers and refugees are illegal in some way, we need to do it. We need to be saying on a daily basis 
seeking asylum is a legal and a moral right and we need to be supporting people to find a better life.